recycling, what is the, the definition of recycling, the advantages of recycling, what is going to be used for, the uses. My group members are Asmao Abdusulami, Peace Aitanki, Daniel Daramola, Stephen Adebayo, and me, James Ayeni. Thank you. So, recycling is the process of turning waste into a reusable material, like what we have here. So, I'm going to pass it on to Danny to explain. Oh, in our mini collection, as you can see, we have things that, example of things that can be recycled. For example, we have glass, or as you can see, glass. We have paper, metal, plastic, a silicon chip, and wood. All these are examples of things that can be recycled. Okay. Oops. Okay, now we are talking about why do we need to recycle? So it saves energy, it saves resources, and in the time we are in, all we are talking about right now is to save resources because our world is dying and recycling is the only way forward to improve our society and it reduces landfill we all know when you don't recycle things they all end up in a dump site which is actually hazardous for our earth and our earth is dying and recycling is basically about going green and saving our world and it protects our environment because when we recycle we save a lot of things from dying like now when we recycle paper we save a lot of deforestation because of the first, um, our trees are very helpful in our environment and they help to reduce the carbon emissions in our everyday life because of trees taking carbon. And simply doing recycling just basically helps our society. And the uses of recycling, it con it's the con conservation of natural resources. As I've explained earlier, it is to save our resources so that we don't waste what we can actually save. Protection of ecosystem and wildlife. So. So most times, people don't take care of what they dispose of. And like we can see from all those pictures where you see a lot of bottle cans and paper and all those things like inside a river or a stream, which is actually killing um, the wildlife, like the fishes inside the sea. And it's also destroying some plants and some trees. Recyc recycling reduces demand of raw materials. So when we recycle things like paper, we don't always have to go and cut trees every time we need a text, like every time we need to make a book, we don't always have to go and start cutting a new tree. You can just recycle the paper you had before, which will actually reduce the demand and which will actually make things a little bit cheaper. Then creation of jobs. We all know that recycling is not a one man's work. A lot of people do recycling and this also enables people to get jobs because of recycling is a very big, is a, on a very huge demand, which can also provide jobs for other people to do. Then it cuts climate change. So to make a simple pen, there's a lot of processes and a lot of things that have to be done before that pen can be made. And a lot of these processes always emit out harmful substances into our environment. And I don't need to tell you that the world is in a very sad place because of the amount of radiation we've been exposed to and the amount of things that are dying in our environment. But if we recycle things, things that we can recycle, we don't always have to make it from the scratch every single time. And this will actually save our environment and reduce our climate change action. Okay, so with our slide, you can also see some extra things we have put, like newspaper. These are type of paper that you can be recycled. Question. So now we have a smile for her. So the slide was to show how physics is related to recycling. From the past ones, you saw gravity, you saw electromagnetic waves, you saw conduction, you saw mag magnetism. Yes. So basically, gravity is used to separate materials, glass, paper, silicon, so on and so forth, through larger holes and smaller holes. Magnetism and conduction, since they are metals, magnets attract metals, so they can easily be used to carry it up and put it where they're meant to be. And electromagnetic waves. What the slide says. I'm not sure to explain it. So the rest of the slide answers questions about how recycling helps us. Like Peace explained, basically, why do we need to recycle and use it? And we hope with the project you learn about recycling. Thank you.